Hello and welcome to this short tutorial to show you how to find and access the free music and free sound effects that you get bundled with Adobe Soundbooth CS4 and CS5. It's not altogether obvious where it is, so this tutorial to show with both of them is how to find the music, how to find the sound effects and how to use them and access them. Now when I say free, what I mean is you've bought the Adobe Suite, Premiere Pro, whatever you've bought, the Production Premium Master Suite, you've got Adobe Sound Booth and it has things bundled with it. If you have the full commercial version, you can use this music and the sound effects royalty free. So it's free, but you have paid for the package. So it's not really free. Okay, this is uh, Adobe Sound Booth CS4. You have a scores panel open when you open it with default and you've got one score in there and I can play that. Okay, and theoretically you'd have thought you could take it and you could drag it into the editor, but you know what? It doesn't want to go in there. It's not going to go into the editor. Hmm, problems. Okay, what about CS5? Well, when you open CS5, it opens in a multi-track view, which is actually the way that you need to see these scores. When you open up the scores, it actually has a few more that's already been downloaded. I may have downloaded a few of these myself. I can't quite remember. Anyway, choose that and hit play, and you can hear it. And for CS5, grab, click, hold, and grab, and drop it into the header. And there it is. Looks a bit weird. Doesn't look like a normal file, but it still plays the same. And it is editable. So if I pull the end in, if you can see it says end here, so it's telling me it's the end section. But if I pull it in, the end kind of stays there for a while at least, then sort of starts disappearing. So you can edit the length and get it as close as possible. Or alternatively, if you've selected the file down here in the properties panel, you have a few options. You can actually choose smaller length or longer length, 13 second length, which is just the intro and the end. Or if I wanted to, I could choose the, the full length, 145 seconds. So you've got variations, you've got options you can do once you've opened it in the multi-track mix. Now, there are a lot more free ones that we can find. And I'm going to start in CS4 because, believe it or not, it's more complicated. So here's CS4. What we need to do is go to our Windows panel, click Windows, Resource Central, and open Resource Central, which connects to the Internet. And I will cut um, any long downloads out of this video so that you don't have to wait too long. I'm sure we all know what a bar downloading looks like. And up the top here we have News, blah, 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 Sound Effects. Lots of different sound effects, and as you look, lots of different categories. I can scroll down to all of these ones. Some weather ones, some crashes, some drones. Let, let's have a look at the crashes. Click crashes. And now we've got a uh, car fender bender, so let's just have a little listen to that. Yeah, that's okay, I suppose. Now to download it, if we want to use it, you have to click this little download button. Click the button, and the first thing it asks you is where do you want to put it. And it has a default file which is Documents, Adobe, Soundbooth Files, and then put it in there. So this is where we really want it, Soundbooth Scores, so that's fine, leave it in Soundbooth Scores, click Save, and it downloads it. Brilliant, now I want to use it, so what do I do? Do I grab it and drop it in here? Nope, can't drag it and drop it in there. Uh, okay, so maybe I need a multi-track file, so File, New, Multi-Track File. Now can I grab it and drop it in there? No, nope, that's not going to work. No, the only way to do it, unfortunately, in CS4 is you go back to your Files menu, double-click in this space here, and then open it up and go and find it. Um, it was in Sound Booth. Mm, where was it now? Oh, crumbs, I can't remember. And that's the problem. You need to remember exactly where you put it. I think it was actually in Documents, if I remember rightly. Documents, probably Adobe, Sound Booth Scores, there it is. So you've got to remember exactly where you put it because the only way you can get access to these is through the uh, file menu. And then it doesn't matter whether you have a multi-track or whether you have an ordinary track for this particular one, for these ones, because they're .wav files. So I can just drop and drag it in the header and there it is, straight in there. Let me play it. Um, that's a multi-track file, but if I had an ordinary 
new empty audio file and I'm going to choose uh, let's choose it stereo 48k okay and then I can just drop the car fender bender into there as well and there you go so that's how you do it with the sound effects scores are different so let me go to scores do play around with the sound effects there are loads of them some of them are quite good some of them are rubbish anyway free scores go to free scores and let me open up free scores well at the moment I've got a couple in there on the, under ambient but let's have a look at the drop down we've got atmospheric country easy listening electronic environment environment actually are less music than well, let's look, look at disaster or subway let's listen to subway there you go vaguely interesting um, and you've got electronic let's listen to the grid okay let's say we want to use the grid okay so we download it it's going to say where do you want to put it well we'll leave it in sound booth scores again same place as before if you remember it's in documents adobe sound booth scores okay we can click save even with that it's incredibly slow to download and now I've downloaded the grid but you wouldn't know it to look at it there's nothing to tell me that it's downloaded I can't click and drag it into an ordinary single file um, even if I open up the file new multi-track file if I drag the grid and pull it in nothing again the only way to access this is to go to files double click and I go to find it Adobe Soundbooth scores it's not there where is it? Well the reason you can't see it, and this is what really bugs me, is you actually need to open up your file manager and then you need to go to documents, Adobe, Soundboost scores, and you notice that the grid is a zip file. You need to double click the zip file and unzip that. And there's the grid as a folder with the appropriate file. So now I can go back to my project panel, double click here, and I go to Adobe Sound Booth Scores, and there's the grid, and there's the grid. Open it up, and is it there? Yeah, at long last. We can listen to it. And to output it from here, you simply select the file in your multi-track view because it has to be a multi-track view because it won't be in an empty audio file it has to be in multi-track and then you go file export multi-track mix down multi-track or clip mix down it really doesn't matter so let's do multi-track mix down and you decide where you want to put it and I'm going to call this grid wav grid and it's going to come out as dot wav save and it asks me how big I want it do I want it I can get a very high quality version if I want to 16 bit will do for this uncompressed 48 kilohertz okay and now I have a file an audio file that I can use elsewhere that is a complete faff it really takes a lot of work to get any of the music out there the effects are okay but the music's awful CS5 I'm pleased to say is a little bit better if I open up CS5 I've already got one file we opened earlier but now let's do the same thing window resource central pull the panel right down so we can see everything and let's go down to electronic music shall we and the first thing you'll see is actually there are a lot more they only show 10 at the most but there's two pages so if I go on you'll see that there's a whole lot more so I've got a lot more that I can download now if I download say let's listen to Twilight okay let's say we want to download Twilight click download and wait and now even with a fast internet connection you can see this is a very slow process but the first improvement it didn't ask me where it wanted to save it and the second one is I can actually see it's downloaded because there is a check mark just here saying it is downloaded and what I can do is I can grab that check mark and I can drop it in the header of a multi-track view and it instantly is going to extract the file and use it and it's going to be there for me to use straight away so if I turn off if I mute this one here and hit play <laughs> 
and again I've got all the options that I had before in my properties panel if I pull my properties panel up I can change the length I can get different options I can have 11 second version or I can have a 48 second version and again if I want to use them I select it file export multi-track mix down or clip mix down and then off we go it gives me a WAV file that I can put into my project and use elsewhere so it's much better in CS5 than it was in CS4 and there are a lot more options in CS5 so there's a lot more music again you see on the rock and pop I've actually got three pages of options if I go back to CS4 let's look at rock and pop rock and pop I've got one page of options now you can add scores okay so I could add more rock and pop if I want uh, I could add more electronic and I just added one of these to my basket to show you here is my checkout I'm not going to buy it but here is my checkout in Mozilla Firefox 66 pounds and 55p I don't know what's that 80 dollars plus 90 dollars um, as far as I'm concerned that isn't worth the money and so I'm going to click remove because I really don't want to buy it but you can buy them you can download them if you want extra from CS4 my advice is upgrade to CS5 because you get a whole lot more options anyway and it's much easier to use much easier to get the music you don't have to unzip it it unzips itself by pulling it into the header of the multi-track view so that's how you can use these free sound effects um, however when I create music I use Sonic Fire Pro yes you have to buy albums and you can modify the albums but let's just say got bottom line here um, and I want a clip that's 30 seconds well let's, let's be slightly awkward let's say I want it 17 seconds long so I put 17 in there and then I'll have the full version I click play to hear what it sounds like Okay, and I've got lots of different versions that I can play with, um, lots of different uh, moods and varieties and variations, so I can do an awful lot with these, and then I can export them, and I can export them to WAV files that I can use straight away, so it's a much, much easier system to use in my opinion. Um, yes, you can get different versions of, of mixes in Adobe Soundbooth by playing around with all the different bits and pieces in the properties panel, and I may at some stage do a, a tutorial to demonstrate how to do that. But in my opinion, although the music is there and is worth using occasionally, this is not the killer application that we'd love it to be. My name's Andrew Davis. I hope you found this useful, and thanks for watching. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.